by which this place came together. Um, I've been a part of this process since David gave us original sketches and we started talking about the idea, etc. David has a very different working style than I do. So <laughs> <laughs> David Best, thank you, has a very different working style, um, but it was a fantastic process. And this, one of the things that, that David told Doug and I early on in one of our meetings is once the space is created, it will take on its own meeting for other people, and other people will do things, and you just have to accept that. As an example, this garden was never intended in the beginning. This was a gift from a landscape artist who said, this is what I want to do, and it's beautiful. I haven't seen Catherine Rose. Her, her name's on the plaque there. In addition, within two days of the nail guns stopping, we have two bird's nests in here. <laughs> So when you come in um, and you just sit here quietly, there's the birds chirping. It is unbelievable. So that's another example. This, this space will become what it what it's meant to be, if you will. You have to take a level of acceptance theory into it instead of a control theory on it, and it's it's become special, really special. As part of that, um, we have some strips of cloth and some pens for people to write notes on, write notes on the cloth, tie it to the uh, tie it to the building in ways that you think are appropriate. And that's a way to make it part of, of things about yourself. Someone's already put um, pictures up on the wall. And again, this is this is more of our space. It's not a single artist's piece, but it's it becomes part of the public space. David's very comfortable with that. Dave Washer has worked with David on a number of projects. He was instrumental in getting this project done. And I'd like to ask him to say a few words about David and the process and, and your research. You, you did a very nice job of, a very eloquent job of saying it. So you, you did most of my work. And Dave, David can't be here right now. He's at a, a show in Houston, a good friend of mine. And he's a, uh, is building these temples has changed my life in a lot of ways. Uh, I lost my daughter four years ago, and so the world of loss and grief has been a powerful journey for me personally. And with how these temples work, and you know, it's not about religion or dogma or doctrine. It's it's more about intention and how we all celebrate those who, who we love, who we care about, the the in, the um, empathy that we hold for our, the place that we live. And so what happens is. You know, a place like this is a celebration of helplessness and sorrow is a part of loss and grief. And then there's this other side that is about wonder and appreciation and gratitude. And as we come into a place like this, and where we, 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 we built this, and basically it's, it's trusses and frames and CNC plywood, right? And right now that's all it is. With a lot of intention that we all brought it to it as we built it. But now it's like the birds, right? The birds will be the first thing that says, okay, we're going to transform it. And as it evolves with everybody's intentions, everybody's marks, everybody's stories, and the stories of loss and grief aren't just about loss of a loved one, they can be transformational stories of loss and grief. And so this place then transforms as it just becomes and it evolves. And that's the beauty of a space like this and the appreciation and the gratitude that we all share together as a family right now. So, I'd like to raise my glass for that. Salute. Salute. My dad's fundamental beliefs was a very related to this space, which one of his fundamental beliefs was if you build a space, things will come and fill it. Very much of build it and they will come. And he did that throughout his life. I think that this is a great way to honor it. I feel like I don't need to say anything. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to take a, a, a tip from uh, 
from Deborah and refer to my notes <laughs> after listening to Dave. Um, today we're dedicating the Temple of Remembrance to those we have loved and lost. I know many of you have notes for them that you wish to leave here today. Remember, the temple is here for you. Come back as often whenever you feel the need. While preparing for this show, I kept thinking, what am I going to say when someone says to me, well, what would Al say about it? Well, I think he'd chuckle and say, you're crazy. <laughs> I love you. It's great. And didn't we have fun? <laughs> but mostly he would say, it's not about me, babe. It's about the art. And the art is our way of expressing our search for a deeper meaning and for those higher themes that bind us together just as truth and love bracket us today. The art is about all of us. It's about our beauty, our joy, our intellect. So please join me and raise a glass to life. Life.